I believe it's a pretty decent roots and I can probably repotted this little bunchkins and I hope you will join me from the propagation process to the repotting process. of me I have a curtain fig or fig trees or some people call it laurel fig it's actually a family or a species of fig trees or ficus so I propagated this branch out of my tree in my front door or front garage so after I believe it's more than three uh, months now look how many roots this little munchkin produced so this is one there's two branches in here i just cut off from the branch and look at that it's pretty decent roots we have here and here's the other one i just have to be very careful because i don't want to break that and look how big it is it's maybe about like two inches that's the one the number the second branch and, break. and here's the other one also so i believe it's a pretty decent roots and i can probably repotted this little bunchkins and i hope you will join me from the propagation process to the repotting process So in here I have this reused pot, so actually it's um, one of my nursery plants that I just transferred and I don't want to throw it away because I can reuse this. So over here also is my um, own mixture of um, soil. And so I will be putting this here. Let's see. I was thinking of just one branch, one pot. And I hope this little munchkin will thrive. And that she or will like the new pot or new home. Okay. There we go. So I'm just going to water them a little bit, just enough to kind of soak that soil. So we have to remember that I don't want to shock the root or this 
little plant because she used to be in the water for three months and now she's transforming into this soil. So I just want to make sure that I will check on her every now and then, maybe two to three days and see if she needs more water. But I'm just going to soak it. and just let it drip for a few minutes make sure there's no water left in the bottom because that would cause a root rot so I'm just gonna let it drip for a few minutes so now I'm just gonna put this in one tray And I think it needs a growing light. Because I don't have enough light here in my um, area. So I'm just going to put them in a growing light. And turn this one once in a while. So they get enough light. And that's it. And I hope you enjoy this video.